VOD if you are watching this back. How is everybody doing? Can you guys hear me? Are we live? Can we get a sound check? Hello, hello! Yep, we are good. Welcome, welcome. I'll let you guys get in here for a second. We're streaming a little bit earlier today. It's 3 p.m. for me. Usually I stream around 5 p.m. But you know it's Sunday. We can we can do that kind of stuff. Good morning, Star Healer. Hello, Foodie. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Shania. Hello, Pineapple. Pink Blossom. How you doing, James? Hopefully you are all having a great Sunday so far. Just a little cozy one here. 10 p.m. for you. Not too late. Not as late as usual, yeah? So, the earlier I stream, the earlier for you. 7 a.m. for you. Hello, baby Mikasa. Marie. Joanna. Marion. Brian. How you guys doing? So, today, just a nice cozy stream. We are checking out a new upcoming farm game. I believe it's releasing sometime this year. But this is the demo version called... Echoes of the Plum Grove. Never played it before. It looks good though. Uh, I'm interested and excited to give it a go. You sound a bit rough. I'm doing okay, James. Doing okay. Uh, I have got a current chest infection, which I'm on anti antibiotics for. But other than that, I'm, I'm doing good. A lot better than I was like a few weeks ago. So let's change the screen so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see the game. There it is. So yeah, this is a very unique farm RPG. I'm not really sure what it's about and how it works, but let's just give it a go and, and test it out. Start a new game. And let's see what this one's all about. I always like finding a new farm RPG, so so we get to create a character here. The, the art style is very unique. I love it. Okay, so let's go with a male. Let's, let's create your boy Sharky. Nose shape, all right. Let's go with triangle. We've got hair. So I believe you... Can like raise a family and like almost like a community. You've got a lot of people to to care for, not just one person. Uh, what should we go with? Just the classic, maybe that. Short fade. Oh, why not? Let's look a bit different. Outfit. Okay. Uh, let's go with the jacket. Kind of shoes shall we have boots um we could also have a beard that's kind of cool and glasses um just kind of go with them let's let's just do that for now let's wash your name so this is sharky Ooh, caps oh we've got a last name too yeah because i'm gonna start a family we can't we can't have blue skin, I don't think. So Smurf Bob Ross is not gonna work. Alright guys, instead of calling Sharky, because we are gonna grow a community, you're gonna have a lot of people in, you know, you I think it's almost like a colony. So what name should we do? Let's cho let's choose Sharky Games. Should we just do that? Or do you wanna go with a complete should we random it? Oh, last name Moon. I quite like that. Sir Sharky. Alright, let's show just do... Because we, we could be here all day. I think we're going to get a lot more people. Bobby Rossi. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's just do Sharky games. Let's just do that for now. Let's go, let's go. I have no idea what this game's all about, so... It looks like a, a Ramon. Ramon! Ramon! So here we go. Look at us with our little back. 
A, ba a little backpack. It's like a lunchbox. We go to school, Mum. Aboard the ship. Is that what we're doing? Oh yeah, here we are. Where are we going? Yeah, I struggle figuring out names as well. I could spend so long just trying to find the right name. Right, Timothy Tweed. That's such a cool, cool name. See, that's a good name. My dearest friend, you have finally arrived. Yeah, yeah, where are we going? Just beyond that horizon lies a new world, a fresh start. I hope you are as excited as I am. Just think of all the opportunities that await us. Yeah, yeah. Soon, the two of us will occupy our own plot of land. Let's go. And we can begin our new adventure. A land on which to grow what we please, to build what we please. The possibilities are limitless. There's the captain. All aboard. We will be departing momentarily. Passengers, to your designated area, if you please. Ah, it's just about time. There will be ample opportunity to catch up in the weeks to come. Okay, so we're going to start a new journey. A new adventure. Get our own plot of land. But these usual games, yeah, I was going to say, there's always a problem. We're going to get shipwrecked to wash up ashore. Tweed, hold on to me, buddy. Ah, oh, the storm is a fierce one. They're all screaming. Oh, no. Can you guys hear the sound okay? Like the game sound? Let me know if it's too loud. Oh, God. They are screaming as well. The wheel. I can't keep us steady. Hang on, everyone. The wood is cracking beneath us. I fear this may be the end. This is like a horror. My friend, we cannot afford to die here. We have so much to live for. The hull is breaking apart. Everyone, abandon ship. My dearest friend, I have treasured the times we spent together. If by chance one of us should pe perish, please take care of the... Take care of the what? Take care of the what, Tweed? Oh, and here we go. So I remember seeing the trailer for this game. When I created the upcoming farm RPGs, the, like the top 15 that I'm most looking forward to and other people. This one was on that list. Luna. Luna McBell. Goodness. You're finally awake. This is a, a new game. It's upcoming this year. This is just a demo. We had such a terrible storm last night. This little old lighthouse was rattling. Something fierce. Imagine my surprise when I found you washed up on the beach this morning. I, could just le I couldn't just leave you there, of course. But, my dear, I hate to be the bearer of grave news. I'm afraid you may be the only survivor. Oh, Tweed! Timothy Tweed died! We was found in the wreckage. The others, I fear, have likely perished in that dreadful storm. Oh, look at our sad face. No! Don't fret, dearie. That was quite an ordeal, I'm sure. But you're safe now. And that's what matters. I guess so. I know this is a lot to take in, I can only imagine. But when you're feeling up to it, I have someone who wishes to meet with you. Someone rather important, no less. Just head through the door when you're ready, we'll be waiting. Mm. Yeah, and what are we, what have we got to look for? Timothy Tweed said, if I perish, don't forget to look for the, like whatever that means. So here we go. Look at us go. Sharky Games moving around. It's a bit thick in here, look. He's got it's like me, he's got a belly on him. Dad bod. Accurate. Okay. Ah, so good to see you up up and about. So this is Quentin. Looks like some kind of mayor. Feeling better then? No broken bones. I heard about your situation. Such a tragedy. The sea is a cruel mistress. At the same time, I must offer you a proper welcome. Though the circumstances may be less than ideal, you found your way to our fair town of Honeywood. The name's Quentin Whitfield. 
I'm the mayor here. Yeah, I thought so. I presume you're the one of the fine folks who purchased that old uh, lot of... Uh, the old lot out east, yes. We were on the lookout for you and your friend. Timothy was his name, I believe. Oh, so me and Timothy, best buds, we was about to live on this new land together, start a new journey, new adventure. And now we're doing it alone. That's not good. Yeah, this, I, I'm getting the Jack Sparrow and Will Turner vibes. Alas, that old farm remains as vacant as ever. And those weeds aren't going to cut themselves. Oh, here we go. All right, come on, t take me there. Let's get to our land. Ooh. Crafting table straight away. I see a scarecrow. We're going to need that, right? So this is our little cabin that we start starting. It seems we've got a chest. Oh, we've got some tools and some food. Journey cakes. That's basically a pancake, right? Oh my god, things rot in the game. So this... What is that? Pemmi pemmican? Long-lasting snack. 22 days until this rots, but the pancakes here only last four days. Right, let's... Um, let's get our tools. So... Oh, we've got a simple hoe, the pickaxe, a scythe. We've also got a hammer as well. And 15 turnip seeds. Nice. Oh, look at this. The visuals are so cool, you know. So I'm guessing we're just like... Is it space bar to use? Oh, okay. Right, well, let's read the, the letterbox. Attention collectors. Requirements. Free lantern oil. I'm having trouble finding something that I need. Oh. I don't know where we're going to get that from, so we'll leave that for now. Right, looks like we've got to clear down the weeds then. And we'll plant our first... Can we get rid of this? We haven't got a hacks. An axe, no. So we're not going to be able to... Get rid of the big stumps. Pickaxe, I'm guessing, is for the rocks. There we go. So, do we get an axe later on? Because there's a lot of trees. There's one tool that we don't have. Right, let's clear the weeds here and we'll do a little farm plot. Get the turnips in. We've got 15. So, what are we getting from this? We're getting some straw. Okay. Okay, this might, this might do. Let's get rid of these ones. Do we have stamina? So we've got energy at the top left, we've got food as well, so we do get hunger in the game. Almost like survival elements. We're in spring, Thursday the 4th, we've got time. Nice, we've also got a journal. Visit the town hall. Oh, look at this. Clothing, there's a name, so we get family members, of course. Is that, is that pets? Items, let's have a look at the village. So these are all the people that we've got to meet. We've also got a map. Oh, nice. There's a mine up here. This looks kind of cool. It's quite big as well, to be fair. Yeah, there's quite a lot here. Dairy farm. Fish shack. Bakery. Butcher. Town hall. Town well. Oh, this looks cool. Okay. This is exciting. You don't have to just use space button. Uh, I thought you did, but you can left click as well. So space bar or left click, you can do, you can do both. Which is good because I would have thought the same. Right, let's let's do some seeds. We've got fifteen, so let's let's do this. Oh, look at that! We've got some uh, dirt. Um, three, four, five. So it's like point and click. So if I click a tile like over here, your person walks over and digs. I don't even have to move up, down, left and right. You can just click. Which is good. It's very easy to control. 
Right, let's get the seeds down. Oh, look at that. Like a little mount. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good morning. Paper farming sim. Yeah, the art style is like paper, right? I like it. It's kind of cute. It's very unique. I love it. You don't see many games like this. It reminds me of, do you guys, corn? is it Cornucopia? That's like a paper farm RPG, right? I think that's the only one that I know that's like this. I've right, got a water. So, I'm seeing... Oh, tools have durability. Oh, no. So, we're going to have to constantly craft tools. Interesting. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you doing? Look how dark the soil gets when you water. I like that. This tree's doing my head in. That is a little... I can't get rid of it. I don't know what tool we could use for that. We need an axe. I need to get rid of that. That's that's right in the middle. Cornucopia. Super cute. Yeah. South Park. Yeah. South Park vibes. So what do you guys think first impression so far? I think we should go into town. So we've got to go left. So this let's check out a farm actually. This is the area. So this is all about raising a family, having kids, you know, wife, and I believe you can die in the game, so age is a thing. So eventually, our character here, Sharky Games, he will pass away, and that's why it's important to have kids, because they will take over, and you continue the farm, basically, that way. I'm pretty sure that's how it happens, so... Oh, we've got a little, little pond here. It's quite a big farm. Wow, look at that. I love how you can just come down as well. It's it's just not all left and right. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just, like, moving like this. The fact that you can move kind of everywhere. This is a huge farm, by the way. And there's our little cabin look. So cool. Yeah, legacy. Uh, good morning, can't stay and watch. Enjoy, no worries, trinket. It'll be going up as a VOD afterwards. What's this here? Oh, so for now, we get wood just by shaking or kicking trees. Oh, look, there's someone in the distance there farming. Yeah, give me that wood. That's all we can do. We need an axe. Can we pick, like, flowers up? No. Oh, I literally, guys, can just click wherever I want. I don't even have to use the keyboard. This is so good. Can we go in here? No? Oh, we can. Let's go. Right, who are you? Uh, Jacob, welcome to Honeywood. I'm Jacob. Uh, Jacob Ryle? You're from the mainland, yes? Um, everything is in bloom. Such a beautiful season we're having. So we can insult, trade, gift... Roland Smith always carries nails with him. Wherever he goes, it's kind of funny. Okay. So what can you trade? So Jacob has cherry seeds. Wow. Wheat, apricots, and plums. So you can tr can you trade with everybody? He's got 1,230 gold. We've got 25. Great, yeah. Jacob, I'm just going to insult you because you've got more money than me. Your manners are unbef unbefitting of a Honeywood citizen. Oh, no. I'll be busy for the rest of the day, just so you know. Oh, no, he hates us. Jacob. I did mean it. I hate you. We've got an enemy. We've got an enemy already. I love it. Oh, look, we've got chickens. Oh, no. Shall we let them out? Come on. Free range. Chicken run. You are free to leave. Look, the chickens are even like paper as well. I love that. Right, we'll close the gate in case we upset everybody. Right, this is his... Oh, this is where he lives. Right, I'm going to egg his windows. As soon as I get some eggs, I'm going to throw them at the windows. Stuff, Jacob. He's got more money than me. I don't like it. Yeah, this is the one where you pass away and your family carries on, Matthew. Yes. Can we get inside here? 
The Brothers Carpentry, 8 till 4. Oh, look how cool this is. It's almost like a medieval colony, like, farm sim. Really cool. Right, who we got here then? So this, can we read the sign? No? So it's some kind of farm. Hello, Martha. Martha Lloyd. You're Sharky Games, right? I've heard about you. I'm Martha Lloyd. Oh, I skipped that on by accident. If, if it feels great to eat vegetables that you grow yourself, even if it's just a cabbage or two, I agree. I've got nothing to give you as a gift, though, Martha. I'm sorry. Can we find out who's like who we can marry? Oh, it's no, no. Let's have a look here. Family. So she's got two daughters. How do we find out? Are they... Jacob's got a son. Yeah, I don't know if you find out who you can marry or whatever. Maybe everybody? It's one of them games? I don't know. I am not a troublemaker. Who's this? Uh, Wilbur Kit. Hi, sir. I'm Wilbur Kit. My parents tell me to be careful around the Johns family, but they never say why. School subjects are fascinating to me. Sometimes I wish uh, class would never end. Teehee, bye. Okay. Episode 12 of the series and Jacob's grandson is still fighting Sharky. Yep. Yeah. I've made an enemy now with the family. The Sharky family and Jacob's family. Ooh, now she looks like someone we can marry. Come on. Mabel. I love all the names in this. They're quite British as well. I don't know if it's a British game. But very old style, Victorian, medieval names. I like it. Roland Smith gets excited when he talks about his crops. Hello, Riley. How you doing? I did not insult him out of no way. He insulted me by showing off with his money, you know? Look how cute the village is. I know, this game looks gorgeous, you know. On Sunday, I'm planning to take a walk down by the lighthouse with Edwin. I can't wait. Right, I'll meet you there, Mabel. <laughs> I'm invited, yeah? Oh, we got some worms. We should give that to someone. We should give that to Jacob. Should we give her one of our pancakes? No, we're going to need the food. We're going to starve. Look, our hunger's already going down. I can't give away the food. Right, until next time. Let's let's take a look now. Mabel. Oh, she's married. She's got a husband. So Jacob is someone you can marry because he's only got a son. He's not got a wife. And I'm guessing Martha as well. So if oh, so this is the thing, right? So if I marry one of these, like Martha, we are also going to get two daughters to the family. So straight away that's four of us. A family of four. Which you've got to think about food, you know, there's diseases in the game. People can get ill. So I kind of don't want to marry someone with a lot of kids because that's, that's a lot of pressure. Maybe we go with someone who's not got any kids and then we can kind of like get our own kids when we are at a good enough point. I'm sorry, Martha, I can't take on two daughters. I've got 25 gold to my name, you know. Oh, look at this grumpy old man. He looks so grumpy. Henry, oh, I already love Henry. Henry's great. Jacob and Sharky, enemies to lovers. Joanna, hello, welcome. Hello, Dewey, how are you doing? Uh, swoop in and steal Mabel from Edwin. Oh. How do I feel about the king? Uh, are you a big eater, Sharky Games? Personally, it takes me a while to get hungry. Okay. This game is called Echoes of the Plum Gro uh, Grove. It is upcoming, it's coming out this year. This is the free demo version on Steam that everyone can play. Oh, there is Mabel. What do we do here? I've just picked up some ice. What? Why are there just some random ice blocks here? Is this like a, a medieval freezer? One day to rot. A cold block of frozen water. It melts so fast. That just... What? What does that even do? It must be some kind of man-made fridge. Oh, pigeons! Oh, this looks so pretty, you know. Uh, is this another kid? Verity Edwards? Yeah. So sunny today. Yay! We may as well meet everybody. Have we already spoke to you? 
Yeah. Right, what's this building? The Apothecary Residence. Mm. Oh, hello. Rose. Rose Swain. Now she's got... Please, don't have any kids. Be single. Don't have... She's a fisherman. Oh, a fisher as well. Tom Adele knows about the latest fashion trends in the old world. Dancing is universal. I bet every country in the world has some sort of traditional dance. Okay, true. So let's take a look. There she is. Guys, she's got no family. She's a singleton. Rose. She's a candidate. Candidate? <laughs> I can't speak today. Candidate. Oh my god. What a derp. Okay, so, so far, Rose is one of my favourites. If we take her on to join our family, it's just going to be the two of us, which is quite easy to maintain. And then maybe we can have kids. You can also see the adult bar as well. If you look at the top underneath the name, you can see how old they are. So very close to becoming like an elder. So I'm guessing, yeah, Quentin's an elder. So is Emery. So, you know, these... Are, I don't know if these villagers pass away in the game as well. Or is it just you and your family? I don't know if everybody else around you dies. But Rose is quite young. She's an adult, obviously. But she's the bar is very low. So, that's... Yeah, that's good for us. Right, we've also got Jessup. What's this? Guys, what does that mean? Ino ino inoculate? What does that mean? Rose and Shark is sitting in a tree. She's pretty. She is, yeah. I bet she's a firecracker. She's our willy. Yay. Uh, sorry I'm a bit late to the game. It looks really nice. No worries, Trish. You can watch the video back afterwards as a VOD if you, uh, if you do join and miss. How you doing, Shari? How are you doing? You wouldn't believe it. Those pesky raccoons plucked the fruit right out of my yard. Oh, I see another candidate there. Look at her with blonde hair, the hat. She looks quite fancy. She might be too fancy for us. We don't look. Uh, we don't look the part. It's like a vaccine. Oh, so maybe she's ill. Howdy, Sharky Games. I was hoping I'd run into you. At my age, it's important to keep your body moving. That's why I like dancing. Right, let's have a look at you. Quick, don't, don't, don't go. There's two of them here. Isabella. Well, if it isn't the new farmer, I was wondering when we'd cross paths. I'm Isabella Whitfield. If you have maple syrup lying around, you can elevate your journey cakes to the honest to godness, uh, goodness pancakes. Yes. I saw Judith Jones foraging in the forest the other day. Well, we should do that. I wonder what she was looking for. Okay, Isabella. She's quite posh. Who's, who's this? Sarah. I'll try to remember that. Shocky Games. I'm Sarah Edwards. Jack Watt really loves venturing through the mine in the forest. He's a brave soul. Tom O'Dell. Is that... That's the swimmer, right? The, um... I'm sure it is. Knows about the old latest fashion trends in the old world. The Olympic swimmer? Yeah, we could marry into a, a family for the money. That's a great idea. Let's take a look at these two. So, Sarah Edwards, I'm guessing... Yeah, there we go. So, Sarah is... Oh, she's got a big family. So Sarah is married already to Jessup, and they have two daughters, and her sister is called Mabel, which you also have a husband, and a daughter and a son. Isabella, let's have a look at you. Okay, so, oh my god, Isabella is the mayor's daughter. So they have money right now. Oh, Tom Daly. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I am. So. Mother, father, and a, so she also has a brother. So the Whitfield family. But she doesn't have a, a partner. She's she's single. The mayor's daughter. So she might, yeah, there might be some money there, guys. Wow. I still like Rose, though. Rose is on her own. She literally lives. She's got no family in town. That's I feel sorry for her. Who are you? Have we spoke to you, Gigi? You're another elder. Oh my god, look, you look so grumpy as well. Temperance. 
Honey would need something to put her on her toes. Who are you? Oh my god. Martha, yeah. James Hutton. I hope your voyage wasn't too rough on you. I'm James Hutton, I'm the teacher. Can we pick that up? Oh yeah, we can. Plantain. Ooh, look who are you? Walter. Welcome to town. I'm Walter Hull and I'm a hunter. Ooh, I wish you luck with your new farm. It's not an easy job. I think James Hutton has done a fine job as Honeywood's teacher. Maple seems to enjoy walking along the beach. Well, who doesn't, right? Yeah, we need to go to the beach. We need to go to the forest, do some foraging. There's loads of stuff we can do. Let's pick this up as well. Family or money? What to pick? What to pick? We're going to sleep and then we'll have a fresh day. It's getting quite dark and then we can do some foraging, exploring, meet the rest of the people because we've got quite a few more to meet. As you can see, there's quite a lot in this game. Wow. Not even done half yet. Let's pick all this up. Plantain. Seven days. This is crazy, by the way. The fact that all the food and herbs and stuff actually rot. Oh, so look at this. So when this quality... So this is silver quality... In seven days' time, this is going to lose a quality and go to bronze. And then after bronze, it's basically no quality whatsoever. It rots. That's crazy. Shouldn't eat it. Contains a few nutrients. Maybe we can just, like, sell that. Bit of cash. Yeah, there's a lot of people to meet. So, we're back on the farm here. We're going to go sleep. And we don't have any shipping bin or anything like that. So we have to trade with the villagers and the shopkeepers and stuff. And just sell all your produce or whatever you make or find. Uh, I don't know if there's ever going to be a shipping bin later on. But it don't seem like that kind of game, you know. It's very old style. Medieval. It makes sense to go and trade and stuff like that. So we've got a lot of stamina left. A lot of stamina. Maybe I could clear a little bit more up before we sleep. Thank you guys for over 75 likes already. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you guys like the looks of this game. It's a little bit unique, but I'm all, I always like trying to find new ones, you know. And show them off to you guys. And maybe it's something that you're into and you might pick up yourself. You can play the demo right now on Steam. There'll be a link down below in the description. <clears throat> or wait for it to release. I'm not sure how long the demo is either, so... Hopefully, we get a good couple of hours before it ends. I don't want it to be like one hour long, you know? So let's sleep. Look, we've got a fire, the cauldron here. This is where we do some cooking! Turnip soup. I love this. Make bread with flour and egg. So cooking seems like a big thing. Look at all these recipes, guys. Wow. I'm really impressed with this game so far. Look at the stuff we can make as well. A composter. A place to break down organic waste into useful fertilizer. When he nails wood... Some dirt and worms. So we need to keep hold of the worms then. They're also good for fishing, it said. Ah, another chest. Dirt path. This looks like some kind of mayonnaise machine, right? Or some kind of butter press. Oh, I want animals. There's so much I want to do. Let's sleep. But the main thing is we need a family. Because I think they help you around the farm. Let's, until dawn. Ten hours sleep, yeah. Let's do that. Can we trade to one vendor or are they only specific? I think there's a few vendors, but they do have money. So I'm guessing the more you sell to them, that money will go down. It might reset every day, but you've kind of got to sell to them and buy from them. Because you need to give them money as well. 
So it's like you're all working together, right? Like a, a community, a colony. You've got to keep these people in business. So you need to buy from them too. If you marry the mayor's daughter, maybe you can be the mayor later on. That would be crazy. Right, we've got to do the watering. When we get these turnips, this is going to be a little bit like a good income for us. We can make turnip bread or whatever, but we've not really got other things for that. So I'm just going to sell these turnips. I want to go to town and find like the shops and things like that. We know that Jacob's one of the vendors. But we don't like him, so maybe we can find someone else. So tools, look at that. Day two, and we've already nearly broken our watering can. So you don't need to refill this with water, but you do need to repair your tools. Interesting. Let's read this. Let's have a look. Fish. So Bridget, we've never met her, but she wants nine clams. We need to go to the beach. I don't even know where to find all of this stuff. Oil. We can't be accepting those just yet. So let's head into town. We'll have a full day. Do some foraging and make a bit of money. I don't know if we pass out. I don't know. I'm guessing maybe there is. So we know there's a farm shop there. Can, this looks like we can pick it up. Can we? Yes. A, a mullein? Mullein? Bright yellow flower. There's Jacob. Shall we go and sell something for him? to him? Right, I can't pick that one up. Right, who are you? Oh, let's get this. We look like brothers. Kind of. William. Welcome to Honeywood. I'm William. I'm the carpenter. Nice. So I'm guessing this is somebody else that you can marry into. I'm pretty sure you're going to be single. So Walter has got a wife and a sister. William has got a brother. So there's two of them. No parents though. Oh, is this, is this your brother? Jack what? I think he is. I think these two are brothers. Oh, oh hold on. Look at this. We can trade. Oh, there we go. This is where we can get an axe from. But look how much they are. We can also get wood. And this is where the lantern oil is for the quest. We need two of them. But look how much it's going to cost us. We can sell wood here. Stone. But see, Jack's only got 336 gold. And I'm guessing if we sell, like, wood to him... Let's just sell one. Let's see if his income goes down. Because he's buying this off us for six. Yep, so now he's only got 330. So very similar to Graveyard Keeper. You've got to be careful how much you sell to people. Because, you know, they've got their own currency. So you can't just go to one person all the time. You're going to have to let their money build up and buy from them as well. But I saw that we could also build. So you're the same. You've got a little bit. So they've got both got about 300 each. But if we go to build, look at this. This is the barn. We've got the coop. That's all it is for now. I'm upgrading the farmhouse as well. These are a lot of money though. 1,200. Interesting. Right, let's... Oh, there's a lot more to forage here. Oh, we've not met you. Is this... Oh, this must be Jacob's son. Can we pick up this purple flower? Nope. So you can see the difference. They've got like a black border, an outline, if they can be picked up or not. So it makes it easier to forage. Just look for the things that stand out like this. I like that. That's that's good. It's a good feature. Right. Jacob, I don't like you. We're going to be enemies, all right? But I might need a bit of cash. There you are. You're all dressed up, trying to impress someone. Yeah, not you. Oh, these it change every single day. So yesterday, you were selling things like, um, was it like a plum? And some wheat or something like that? But look, we can get... Oh, he sold a cherry seed yesterday. But now, he's selling wheat seeds. 
Which are only four. We should do that. We can make we can do bread. Let's sell all this stuff to him. Uh no, not that. So that's 13. I'll take that. Oh, why can't we sell these ones? We can't sell quality? What? Oh no. Sorry, that was oh that's chickweed. So this um plantain can't be sold to Jacob. Only certain things can. Interesting. So let's get some of these wheat seeds. How many are you selling? Should we get them all? Ten? That's all of our money, but then we can maybe cook bread. Or even just sell the wheat. Let's do that. That's a lot of money, though. But you see, now Jacob's got a lot of money. Hold on. Yesterday, Jacob had like 1,500 gold or something. He's only got 610 now. Is that because he bought all this off us? But that wasn't that much money. Yeah, so their income changes every day. So you've got to kind of... Yeah, be careful when you sell and who you sell to. I love it. And the, the stock changes too. So they sell different things. Hello, Martha. So I want to keep going. If we go down, there's a church. Oh, no, that's a school. A school and a bee farm. Shall we do that? Uh, let's go down. Oh, we're looking hungry. Our person's a bit sad. Do you see that? Shall we eat a pancake? How do you eat? There we go. Yay! Peckish. We've not spoke to you, I don't think. Molly! Dad says that you should plant your crops when the moon is at its brightest. Cheerio! It is a unique game. Oh, the bee farm. Look at this. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Look at the bees! Oh, they don't sting me, right? Nope. So this is Mabel. So we can trade with her as well? <gasps> well, that's where we get clams from. Seaweed, scallop, and then look, honey. I love that. All right. Looks lovely down here. So we can't enter the houses yet, they're locked. I'm guessing you've got to be like good enough friends or something. Oh, something we can pick up down here. A few things. We've got to go to the forest, we've got to go to the beach. We'll do it all, don't worry, we're going to see it all. We can, so at the moment we're going right. Oh, there's a lavender boutique, what the hell? So we're going to go all the way down here. Was that the school? that We didn't, we didn't go into the school, did we? Can we go inside here? Or not? We can! Oh look! There's loads of kids! And there's the teachers. James Hutton. I've never seen a game with so many kids. Normally there's only like two. Wow, this is a very busy school. Benjamin, we may as well meet all the kids as well. And then we'll find out about their families, you know, their mums and dads. Emery. We've got Judith. I think we've already spoke to Wilbur. We spoke to you as well, haven't we, Molly? Yep. Right, we've got two more over here. We've also got... Oh, look at... Oh, their names are so cute. Do you know what I like about this? Is the names aren't difficult to pronounce. They're not weird names. Can we speak to the one behind? Martin. They're so simple. That's what the game should be like. Simple names. Scarlet. Not like some crazy, crazy weird name. Verity. Clark. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this game is called Echoes of the Plum Grove. Ooh, someone down here's got a question mark. Is that like a quest? What's the matter? Daniel? What's your name, Sharky Games? Repair, a viewer quest. Toy drum. I can't find it anywhere. I last saw it in the graveyard. Okay, we'll accept it. So we've got to try and go to the graveyard. We'll find it, we'll find it. 
do we have time on this? Three days, I think that said. Three days here. We've also got to visit the town hall as well. The desks look a bit weird. What do you mean? I didn't really pay attention. Was it that bad? Right. Who's hiding behind the bush here? Who are you? Agnes. Bailey. Happy to see a new face around here. I'm guessing this is going to be another... Candidate that we can marry. You're selling yarn. Ooh, she like a knitter. I feel like my uh, partner would love this person. Should we have a little look? Agnes. Where are you? Nope, she's married. She's got a husband and two sons. Never mind. Never mind. We'll just wait for him to pass away, you know. Look how beautiful this is down in the wind. Wow. I think I see fish in the water there. This game's gorgeous. Hello, Luna. We can also trade with you. Violet. Tulip bulbs. Oh. A marriage bouquet. If you want to get married, how much are they? 100. Honey soap. And some hay seeds. I'll buy that hay seed. Why not? Plant them on the farm. So, literally, there's, everyone you speak to has got something that they sell or trade with. Oh, this lighthouse looks so cozy. Nice to meet you, Sharky Jane. See, we can buy something. Oh, it's the same stuff. So, this is obviously family. Okay. There they are. Oh, we can go in here. The bedroom. And that goes up to the top of the lighthouse. Unique graphic, graphics, calm music. Yeah, it's a very unique game, right? There's nothing like this. There's not a lot of games like this. I think a lot of people are going to love it. It's always worth a go. So we've been there. Let's now go back into the town. So what I'm going to do... Is we're going to go back up. We'll go left. There was a lot of houses that we didn't go into. And we've got to go to the town hall. For the quest. Uh, and this is where we're going to focus on today. And then tomorrow. We'll go even further this way. And we'll go to the dairy farm. The graveyard for that quest. And then we'll go to the hunter cabin. And the bog house. Um, and the forest was up here. The mines. So we'll kind of do that. And maybe last. We'll go to the mines and forest. After we've done the, the main quests. Kind of see it all, you know. Your guy is very sad. Yeah, so when you got a sad face, it's because you're hungry. So, we, obviously, we've got half hunger right now. So, there is survival elements to the game. There's illness, diseases, there's hunger, there's cold, temperature. So, you've got to really, really look after your people. And you can kill them. We can kill this character right here. And we'd have to start a game with a new one. But if you're married, I believe you just take out, uh, like, play as somebody else. Um... So yeah, we can't kill Sharky here. We've got to keep keep our food up. Um, keep eating these pancakes. Look, it goes up very slowly. It's now smiling. He's happy. But it's, it's all good. We're gonna, you know, we we'll have to buy some food or save some turnips to eat. So you, you, you know, you, although it's cozy and quite relaxing, you've got to be careful because it is survival as well. Bridget. Saw somebody here. Edwin. Just talking to anyone just in case. Thank I appreciate that, Shania. Thank you, thank you. I did put the link down below in the description. But also, Shania has um, put it in the chat. And I'm going to pin it at the top. So at the top there, you can check the game out on Steam. Thank you, Shania. Look at the mods doing the job. I'm going to have to start paying you guys. You want to play it while laying down the... Oh, yeah. I, I wish, Nad. If this comes to Steam Deck or it's, like, compatible, it would be a great game to play on the Steam Deck. I agree. So let's keep moving forward. And um, where do we sell these? 
It's an ingredient for food. She says you shouldn't eat it. But no one seems to want to buy them. The plantain. I've not found anybody yet anyway. Look, is this the hair salon? Oh, wow. Right, okay, we've got Tom. Uh, we've also got Agnes. Yeah, we spoke to you today. Look at the reflection in the mirror. Uh, although... Uh, why does everyone look fine and we have no hair? Why is my person bold? Huh? Is this real? Let's not talk about that. Right, we can tailor. Right, trade first of all. Wow. Look at the outfits. 999 and new hairstyles. There's hats. We've got cloth and Fred. I'm guessing we can make our own. Look how much money she's got. Alice O'Dell. Let's speak to her. Obviously, my partner in real in real life is called Alice. So I wonder if we could marry her. That would be crazy. Let's have a look. Where's Alice? Am I, am I, oh, there we go. Oh, she's married, of course, to Tom O'Dell. Never mind. Um, Agnes, yeah. Trade, we can better, yeah, well, no, we can do that from you. I want to speak to you again. There we go, Taylor. Let's have a look at this. So your coins, all right. So you can kind of just customize your person again. Hats here, but look how much they are. Oh, I really want this. Look how cool he looks. He suits his outfit. Oh, but we've got no money. Rotate. Nice. Uh, let's have a look at outfits here. So, we can change colour. Is that for free? <laughs> wow. I don't think that's co that costs anything. But you know what? I don't know. I think I quite like just a brown, maybe. Uh, no, maybe we'll, we'll if we can do it for free. Why not? That option wasn't there at the start of the game, so. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. We've gone for a nice, like, charcoal grey black jacket. Let's go. With that hat, we need to rename him Jack Sparrow, I know. Right, let's let's actually go into some new buildings here, because we're running out of time again. Um, so this is the apothecary. We couldn't go in there yesterday, but we can now. So here we can... Oh, there we go, the vaccine. So like I said, there is illness and disease in the game, and you're going to have to get vaccinated, so... Yep, yeah, we gotta have money for that. I'm gonna sell some stuff here. We need to keep that money going. We can actually buy a lots of different tonics and potions and remedies. You know, we've got things here: a health potion for common colds, which we can get. So, you know, if the weather starts turning a bit cold, we might get ill. How long are you stream for today, Rachel? Um, I was going for about two to three hours. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It depends how long the demo is. You know, if the demo ends in like. 20 more minutes and we might have to end the stream there but hopefully the demo is long enough that we can have, have a good time today now there we go that's that apothecary checked out um i don't think we spoke to this person there's two here who are you cat i don't know if we spoke to you i'll have a look in a second oh so she must work at some kind of tavern or something like that. Look at the food and drink here. This is what we're going to need to buy when we get hungry. We've only got three of these snacks left. And things do rot in the game, so... We need money to buy food. We need a good food source, because we'll end up killing Shark. He's going to die. Mary. That's, this looks like a posh house. There's also money in this family. Mary, are you single? Now you've got a husband. Oh, so you're married to the mayor and Isabella is... Yeah, look at this house. We might have to marry into the family, guys. We need the money. Hello, Victoria. How are you doing? Right, this is the town hall. We need to do this for a quest, I believe. Yeah, visit it. 
So let's do it. And what's this? Oh, the calendar. So there is 21 days in a season. This is spring. We've also got a fishing contest. Can't wait for that. And then every 7th on a Sunday is the market day. Merchants gather from around the island to sell their... Oh, that's going to be good. Maybe we can sell a lot of stuff there. We need to do fishing. That's what's going to help us get the money up. Oh, there you are. What's going on, Mayor? It looks a bit worse for wear. Do you see when they get old, they start leaning over, like struggling to walk? I love that. A little detail, but it's quite good. If you follow me, please. <laughs> Welcome to... Yeah, where marriage is really about love, but money and resources. Well, you know, we've got to survive. Where is that deed? It must be, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the same thing as him. Uh, 1800s. Oh, we've signed the deed. And with my seal, it is official. The land is now yours. Let's go. We actually own the land. Didn't realize you had start streaming today, but I'm glad I didn't miss it. Yeah, normally I stream on Saturdays, but for, for any reason I can't, I'll just push it back to Sunday. Either way, there's going to be a stream every weekend. Saturday or Sunday, whenever I can. Oh, no. This tax is in the game, guys. We're going to get taxed. Every Sunday by the end of the day. So we've got rent on the house and the land. The land will get seized? We need money big time. We need money, like, really now. Okay, I'm sure you can make your weekly payment without much hassle. We need to sell whatever we can. 1800 says 90% taxes. Yeah, no. Oh no, this yeah, it's gonna be brutal. It's like a like a survival farm sim. But I like that, you know. I do like survival games. Okay, many other townsfolk are eager to meet you. Yeah, I'm, I'm already starting to do that. I'm trying to. No time to lose. Damn right. Guys, we've got 17 gold. It is Friday. We're going to get taxed in two days' time. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than 17 gold. This is the butcher. Ah, it's the new farmer. I'm Lewis Johns, and I'm the butcher. Uh, yeah, lots of meat here. Oh, God. We need money big time. I'm going to have to plant these seeds that we've got as well. Okay. Yeah, this is Stardew Hard mode. We need a rod. As soon as we get a fishing rod, I think we can make quite a bit of money. This bakery? This game's cool, though. I I'm going to play this a lot, I think. This is my kind of game. Deal with the survival. I do like stuff like that. Hey, blacksmith. I don't think we've spoke to you. Daniel. Oh, we can repair. So this is where we repair our tools. Oh, it's going to cost money though. Oh, no. Everything's going to cost money. Oh, look at that diamond ring. 1,241. And there's also steel tools. But I'm hoping we can craft these ourselves rather than having to buy them. You know, so we can go to the mines, get iron and copper, and kind of upgrade our tools. Or craft better tools. Rather than buying all the time. That might help us out a bit. So where are we? So we don't want to go left, we're going to do that tomorrow. So let's go to the fishing place, because we might be able to get the rod, or at least find out how much we need for it. I'm guessing the rod's going to be a couple of hundred. There it is. The oh, look, we can forage. We can sell all this. Let's go. Sand. Okay, there's more stuff, but I just want to go to the fish shack. 
Uh, hello everyone, sadly I can't stay Sharky, but I wanted to drop in and say hi, I'm off to the Lake District. Oh, I love that lightning, that sounds amazing, enjoy. Yeah, the video will be going up as a VOD, so you can enjoy it afterwards. Have a great little break. Can we go inside here? No? You can't actually go inside the shack. Okay. Someone else over here that's got a quest. Do we get money for these quests? Because that might be good. What rewards do we get? Rewards. Milk, money, and eggs. Oh my god. Goose egg. What do you want turnip soup? We are about to grow some turnips. I'll accept for now. Let's see if we can do it. What are you selling? Eggs. <gasps> There's pets. This guy is where you can buy animals from. So we can get a dog. That's actually quite cheap. 200 gold. We can get, uh, obviously, goose or geese. Sheeps. There's chickens. We've got goats. Cows. Go. We've got pigs as well and chicks. A crayfish. I love this. This is the milk pail. Hayseeds, even more. We've we've got one. So that's more animal food, but we could maybe buy and sell. Oh, I don't want to really spend too much. I'll sell that hay to you. Take it off me. We'll just plant the wheat for now. Oh look, it's Rose. We need to marry her. She might have a bit of money with her. What are you selling? Oh, because she's the fisher. The fisher. She sells the rod for eighty-five gold. That's what we need. And then we can start fishing and selling all the fish to her or anybody. And that's going to be money. Look at the fish here that she's selling. Right, we'll sell to you the scallop. That's worth 10, by the way. That is amazing. Right, we need this rod. So let's just save up for 85 gold. Easy. We should do that. What happened to 5 p.m.? Uh, yeah, I streamed a little bit earlier today. I don't have much time to, uh, to stream today, so I can't do it at 5pm as normal. So, you know, at least I can still stream it earlier. At least it's uh, better than not doing it at, at all. Oh, look. So the actual tavern is on the, the fishing dock. Mabel's here. Right, what can we trade here? Oh yeah, so this is cat. So this is all of the food and drink. Yep. Already though, our person's getting a bit sad again. He's hungry, so... That's not good. Is Miss Sharky and Baby Shark out? No, they are not. They are... They are downstairs. They are home today. Right, I think we should head back. Right, quest. I lost my toy. Yeah, we need to go to the graveyard tomorrow. Completed. Visit the town hall. We didn't get any reward for that. Week. Oh, no! The weekly taxes on Sunday is going to be 50 gold. We're not going to get the fishing rod. Was that a kid in the tavern? Yeah, I think it was the son. I think it's the family. Oh, so we need 50 just to pay our, our weekly rent for the land. That's going to take us so long to get the fishing rod. Right, I already spoke to these. Let's just... I think... How many more do we need to speak to? One, two, three, four. That's not bad. And I'm guessing that's going to be this side. The, the dairy farm and the hunter cabin. And the bog house, whatever that is. Also, the graveyard we've not been to. We've kind of been everywhere else, haven't we? And the local mine as well. Yep. Hello, came in. What game is this? This game is called Echoes of the Plum Grove. There's a link in the description, or I've pinned it at the top of the chat. If you want to check it out, there is a demo available on Steam. You can play for free. 
But this game is not getting released until sometime this year. So it's upcoming, but there's, like I said, a demo. It's like um, a farm RPG with, like, survival elements. So it's quite unique. Let's. How many more seeds did we manage to get? I got 10 wheat seeds. We've got to get them planted. Because that might be, like, we can make bread. And then if we could sell the bread, that might be good money. Okay, lovely. So let's do this. You see two flowers to be picked? Yeah, well, they'll stay there. I think you can pick them another day, so... There's no shipping bin in this game. You have to sell to people. So it doesn't really matter. We can just get it on the way to town tomorrow. We are going to have to repair this water can or at least craft another one, which I don't think we can craft yet. So we need money to repair it. Otherwise, I can't even water the crops. And I, yeah, I'm pretty sure when we use these, this tomorrow, it's going to be broken. Right, oh, we do have to refill. North East. So we do have to refill the can. That's I didn't think we did, but okay. Oh yeah, the years in the top right look at like seventeen hundreds. That's a good point there, Rachel. I didn't see that. Can we? Oh, so maybe the watering can doesn't have durability. No. So this bar is the water. So the only tools that need repairing are the hoe and the pickaxe, and I'm guessing the axe as well. Oh, and the scythe. But the watering can, I think we must have it all the time. But getting a better one would still be good, because then it might take less to empty. It might water big areas and stuff. That's good to know. I didn't want to spend money repairing this. But so far, we have got 28 gold. We need 50 just to pay the rent by Sunday. Otherwise, they will seize your land. You won't be able to use it or work on it. Or I don't know how it goes, but... There's one more seed there. Let's plant that. Um, it's a bit annoying, but we'll just have to do it here. It's not even. There we go. So we've got some turnips and wheat in the ground. We are quite hungry. And we've only got three of these snacks. Which I don't imagine are going to give us any really good hunger points. Look at this preserve jar. You can refine fruit and veg. If we had nails, we could maybe put turnips in there. Might increase the value. Right, we'll wake up at dawn. That's nine and a half hours sleep. That's quite a lot. Let's wake up at 6am. Six, 6 nine hours. That's a good sleep right there. Is this how England looks in the 1800s? Maybe. Well, it's 1700s. Right. We can't harvest these yet, but they're looking good. Right, so... This expires in one day. You want nine clams. A gift for us? What is this? Oh my god. Guess what? I saw something that I knew you'd love. Just had to pass it along. We got a gift. We got some food. We got some buttered lobster. Oh my god. So this is three days until it rots. We've got to be careful with the food. Because it does rot in the game. And then that's just such a waste. That is. We might eat that right now. Because we are hungry. Please give us some good points. Oh, that was good. What about the snacks? What do these do? Oh, they are really good. Nearly put us to the top. Okay. We can live another day. We can live another day. Let's do the watering. And then we're going to head to the complete west side. The dairy farm and the uh, hunter's cabin.
I can't believe that gift. That was amazing. So it's going to be quite important talking to the people. You can see these green bars here. Like some of them have really good friendship points already just by talking to them quite a lot. And that means they're going to give us some gifts. And we, we, we need to live off that, I think. So you know what? I'm going to be friendly with everybody other than Jacob. Jacob can do one. No, we are going to the graveyard, Brain Fog. We're going to go do that today. Do we get a reward for that? Let's have a look. No, no reward. That's annoying. I mean, we are doing a favor for a kid. So maybe we'll just the family might be a bit happy with us. Might send us some gifts later on. But we're just going to be friendly, you know? We've got to try and have a name for ourselves here in the, the town. Let's go to the graveyard then. So what we've got to do, we've got to go... Yeah, it's, okay, it's right. It's near all the stuff that we want to do. So let's just keep going left. Jacob, you stink. I, 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 don't, I don't even think Jacob did anything wrong, but I just don't like him. Right, let's speak to everybody. Like I said, let's just keep doing it. Let's get those friendship points up. We'll get some gifts sent through the post. To kind of talk to everybody, you know. There's a quest up here as well for one of the Carpenter brothers. Jacob, you stink! Just in case you didn't hear me the first time. Shall we go? Shall we insult him again? Right, view a quest. So, oh, this is amazing. No, no, it's not. It's not amazing at all. We have 11 days to deliver. 40 parsnips But guys look what we'd get here. We'd get an armchair 117 gold and a yellow rose side table Wow But we aren't gonna be able to do 40 and 40 turnips, I'm sure they're gonna sell more than that. I Can't do that We can't do that. That's that's crazy. We need them turnips. Just speaking to everybody. In fact, I've not seen where we get turnip seeds from. We're going to need some more. But we can't spend our money. I'm, I wonder if you sell them, the farmer. Coffee seed. Wow. 90 gold. But look, see, Jacob's got loads of money today. Let's buy some stuff off us then. You know what? Buy all my stone. Buy all the straw as well. Thirty-three? Thirty-nine? We've got no animals for a long time, so I'm just gonna say eighty-one! Right, you know what? Let's do it. We are balling, guys. 109 gold. We can afford our rent for another week. Let's go. We could even get the fishing rod. That's more like it. Oh, there we go. Plantain. I still don't know where we sell this. We've got loads. We've got 10 pieces now. Someone's going to want it, surely. Oh, hello, Rose. You're beautiful. Should we give her a gift? Maybe not. No. There's, there's nothing really there she's going to enjoy. We need a nice flower. So we've got to keep going left. Oh, there's a crow. Two of them. Oh, another quest. Is this a quest? I don't see the option for a quest. Oh, it's gone now. Fair enough. More plantain that we can't do anything with. No one wants it. Is it a weed? Is that basically what it is? It's just a weed. Look, everyone looks so peed off. <laughs> Look, look how grumpy they look. We didn't manage to get inside here yesterday. Oh, we can now. Christian. I think you're one of the new people. Sarah Edwards. Come on. Everyone love me. Send me free things through the post. Please. 
Oh yeah, the bakery. Look at this. Breads, cornbread, pancakes, turnips, hay seeds, all the flour and a plum tart. Oh wow. Wait, hold on. Did she send us two of these buttered lobsters? I've already ate one, right? Did we get two? Absolute legend whoever sent us that. Hello all. Don, I'm a little too late. No worries, Joe. Better late than never. How are you doing? Everyone's hungry. Yeah, everyone's just peed off because they're hungry. I think so. The guy outside. Oh, did he give me? Is that what happened? Oh, look. Is that a violet? Hey, Rose might like that. Oh, the graveyard. Look at this. That looks so cool. Oh, you look sad as well. Mary, what's the matter, Mary? What's wrong, Mary? Have we spoke to you yet? Yeah, oh yeah, of course we have. I, I know why she's sad. It's because she's married to the grumpy mayor. Let's go to the great... Oh, this looks amazing. I love this area. Right, so we've got some things here. This is... Um, a chickweed. You can use it in potions in case we get sick. There's the drum! I see it! Look, look, it's over here. Yeah, maybe we should save just in case there's no... Oh, yeah, there is autosave. Look at that. I mean, it's the demo version. I wonder when the full game releases, can you continue from the demo? That would be nice. But I don't know. Maybe you'll have to start a new game. Right. Oh, God, this looks this looks dark. Who's that? Someone died? Is that the old mayor? Okay. You're doing well. Your little guy had the flu. is feeling better today. How are you? Yeah, we've all had the flu. We are finally on the mend. It's been awful. A lot of stuff going around, right? Hopefully your little boy's doing better. I've currently got a chest infection. I'm on antibi antibiotics. I'm, um... My partner kind of hates the fact I do this, but I'm very stubborn. So when it comes to being ill, I don't go to the doctors. I, I, I don't make appointments. I kind of just get on with it. I've always been like that. So, you know, I could be on death's door and she's like, just phone the doctors for God's sake. Uh, so for weeks, I was just like cracking on. I was like, no, I'll, I'll get over it. And I finally, I finally went because I wasn't getting better. And it turned out I had a chest infection. Um, by the way, cherries, this is amazing. So yeah, it's a good job that I went really, you know. All men are like that. Yeah, I think I get it off. My dad's the same. I think I get it off. Get it off my dad. These animals are so cute. So it was no wonder I was struggling. And felt really ill because I had an infection. Drink ginger tea. Yeah, I, 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 the thing is, I know ginger's really good. I like ginger, but it's very, very strong and burny and you know, bitter. I like to add ginger to like honey and lemon maybe. I can't have it just pure ginger. That'll be too much for me. Sorry I'm late. No worries, Nicole. At least you're here. How are you doing? Oh, look at this place. So we have been to the dairy farm there. We've also been to the graveyard. We've got the quest. Do we have to hand that in? I'm guessing we have to go and speak to Daniel again. Oh, we've got to speak to the mayor as well because we've met all the villagers now. Look at that. Okay. So this is the hunter's cabin. It's like a forest. I'll take this. Lots of forage in here. You're like that too, even with a chest infection. I always think it's this is the peak. Yeah, I'm like that, Beck. So I was like, no, I'm at the worst of it. Surely I'm going to get better from now. Weeks later, still the same. I only go to the doctors, like, if it's necessary. Like, really, really, like, okay, I've got to go. But I very rarely go to the doctors. I very rarely get checkups and stuff like that. Because normally I'm, I'm, I'm quite well. 
um, or stubborn. And just kind of crack on with it, you know? Right, so the hunter's cabin. Do we actually go in there? Is this where it is? Was it locked? I don't think we could get inside, right? Or did I not check? Oh, yeah, you're the hunter. So we can buy tulip bulbs. We've got some bark, pine sap, and bugs. Does that mean we can go bug catching? Because if we can catch bugs, that would be incredible. That's another income source right there. I don't think it's, it's left now, so yeah, it's locked. Hello, hello Rena, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Look at this. So this is like the deep forest here. I've still, there's only a little bit of a beach here. It's not a very big one. Oh, we can... So you can see people on the map when it's a quest. So we can see where, who we need to talk to. I like that. Can we go down here? Oh, please. I really want to go there. It looks cool. Do we go down there? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Just double check. Can we go? No, no. So we go down here. Look at this. Hi, Joel. How you doing, buddy? Oh, like a swamp? Can't pick this up. This looks cool. There's nothing to pick up, though, but I'm guessing this would be good for fishing. Question is, does a witch live here? It's locked. Yeah, this is a good fishing spot right here. This looks very nice. I like, I like how dark it got as well. Where else could we fish? That would be a good fishing spot there. We've also got the beach, obviously. That would be really nice. We've got a river here, the beach, um, in the town, leading to the beach. The lighthouse, I wonder if we can fish off of there. So there's only one place we've not been, which we're going to do tomorrow, and that is up in the mines and the forest. So we've got a big area to explore up here tomorrow. There's a waterfall. I'm excited for that. And I think that might be the last place to check out. So what we're going to do, finish these quests, I'm going to go back into town, speak to the mayor, and also... Uh, the little lad, because we found his drum. Let's complete those two quests. Shrek lives there. Yeah. <laughs> he must do. You're the hunter's wife, I'm guessing. Yep, you sell the same things. Because you're a family. Hello, Skittles. How are you doing? Oh, he's foraging. Look at that. Fare thee well. Dairy farm. I love that. I really like this game so far. I highly recommend you guys to give it a go with the demo. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Doing good. I feel, I'm feeling good too, Skittles. I'm doing a lot better than I was. Uh, Victoria, welcome to the family. I appreciate that member there. Thank you, thank you. Right, where is the, is the mayor? You're back in your house. So, oh, the little boy is on the, uh, the pier. Let's go and speak to him. Give him his drum that he lost. Pick up the weeds as well. Right, where are you, buddy? Somewhere... It's not you. Oh, look at the ship! Oh, he's down here. Oh, this looks cool! Right, I think it's you. Yeah, he looks sad. Maybe he's happy now. Let's turn in the quest. Come on, give me a smile. Nope, not yet. 
Thank you for helping me out. Here's your payment. Oh, we, we did get something. We got some clover flower. Oh, a little lad. Let's go. We can... Because he's part of the, the family, the blacksmith, I think, we can repair tools with him. That is so weird. Daniel Hopkins. Hold on. Is... Daniel Hopkins, are you a child? Yeah, he's a child, so why the hell can we buy tools from this guy? And rings. Onion seeds. Oh my god, we've got to get an onion seed. That's crazy. Maybe it's just the Hopkins family and they have access to the uh, the same stuff. Got some cherries. Let's sell some of this stuff then. I'm going to save a violet. I want to give one of those to Rose. There we go. We're on 121 gold. No child labor laws. And is that what it is? Literally, like, the, the, that's crazy. Yeah, look, we can also trade with Clark. The kids are literally out selling. <gasps> Potatoes! Let's go! So there's two. Potato! We've got to buy those. We're going to get some more crops in the ground. One onion and two potato. Let's go. What about you? Plum? And apricot. So these are fruit trees, but look how much they are. We can't afford those. Ink, paint, sand. Okay, you've got a lot of, a lot of very valuable resources here. Olivia Wells. Potato! Can't wait to grow some of those. Ahoy! Feels good to stand on solid ground again. Town has a quaint charm to it. I suppose that's uh, this uh, that's island life for you. Nice. These children are just hanging out in the, the tavern. It's absolutely crazy. You know how it is. Back in the day, yeah. Back in the day, French fries. I love that every single day the stock changes. Different drinks, different food. It's so crazy. French fries are only 44 gold. I think it's like the cheapest thing on the menu there when it's food-wise. One of the delicious things as well. Right, I think we should head back, plant the seeds that we've got. And then go to the mines tomorrow in the forest. Have we met everybody? Is that literally all of them? No, there's two more. Lives at the House of Spells. Lives at the local iron. The local iron? Till 4pm, so we can't get inside there. So where you get your upgrades. So there's one person in there that we've not met, and I'm guessing... What was the other one? What's this? The House of Spells. Is this like the witch? Maybe it's the last one. The House of Spells definitely must be... No, that's the Bog House. Where's the House of Spells? No idea. That might be later on. Hello, Polly. The family's doing good. How are you? Where's your husband? I think that's who it is. Who we need to meet. Must be for some kind of end game quest. Oh, look, he's fishing. That's what we're going to do soon. Definitely. Must be a mayor quest, yeah. Right, what's up with you? 
35 potatoes? Are you joking? We do get some recipes though. Lavender tea and a lavender ice cream with purple dye. But we can't do 35 potatoes. That's We've only got like two seeds. You like the Paper Mario graphics? Yeah, me too. Unique, but it's just something about it. These games are so charming when they look like this. Right, we're doing quite well with hunger still. Apparently in 10 minutes time we will need to start eating something, so... We'll keep an eye on that. So we've got three more seeds. Uh, let's go down here. We've got two potato! And one onion. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. There we go. Right, let's head to the mines tomorrow. And the forest. There is character customization. Yes, there is. Um, at the start of the game, you can create a character. But also, there is shops like clothing shops here. You can buy clothing. You can also change your hair and stuff like that. But this game is very unique because it's all about family. 11 hours? Wow. You've got to raise a family, get married, have kids, and the legacy continues. People do die and get sick in the game, including yourself. If you don't eat anything, you could starve, etc. So, yeah, it's it's important to, to have a family for the legacy, you know? There's crafting, fishing, foraging, there's all sorts. Cooking, which is important. We can actually make a survival salad, guys. That's what the plantain's for. No one wants to buy it, so you know what? This really might help. How many can we make? Just one? We need more violet. This this could keep us alive, that, hence why it's called survival salad. It's kind of just foraging, you know? Making a salad from the forage goods. Oh yeah, we've got to go to the mayor for the reward. Yeah, we'll do that. But we've got our first cooking done. And we do need to eat, we're hungry, so let's try it. How much is it going to give us? So we're currently half, nearly. Oh, it's not very good. It's not very good. I guess in a, a, a situation where you are literally starving, it might come in handy, but... We need to eat this instead. The lobster... Buttered lobster. That's better. Let's go. Cherries. These are two days left until they rot. And four days for those. Okay, things are going to start to to rot soon. We've got to start eating all the food. If you pass out and starve, I don't know if you pass out, but I'm get all oh, the turnips are done. I think you can literally die in the game from starvation. So I could be wrong, but there's a reason you've got hunger, and there's death in the game. There is death in the game. Oh, this is amazing, guys. We get seeds in return from harvesting. Oh, let's go. So we don't even have to buy the seeds. We can just try a look and plant the seeds down. This is amazing. Look at that. It gave us two seeds from there. So we got 12, 15 parsnips, uh, turnips, and we got 14 seeds in return. So only one didn't give us one. We can literally plant these again. So good. And now we've got some food. Oh, tax time. Yes, it is. Um, quests. We've got to speak to you. And also speak to you. Right, we've got to pay our taxes manually. And finish the other quest. So we've got to literally speak to the mayor today. Oh, that's all the seeds. Let's water. Do we have a turnip soup quest? 
There it is. She wants two turnip soup, but the only problem is I don't know if we've got the other ingredients. I can't imagine it just being turnips. We're going to need something else. And do we have that is the question. I'll check the, the, the fireplace on the cooking. Do we even have the recipe for a start? Right, I've got to fill up the can. Your boy Shark is smiling. He looks happy. Because we are fed. We've got a full belly. Nearly full belly. Let's fill this up. There we go. Oh, we don't like paying our taxes, but we got to do it. Hey. Eh? Story of my life. Fifty gold every Sunday. That might go up the more stuff we have, I don't know. Let's see if we can cook the turnip soup before we speak to the mayor. It's only 9.40 a.m. anyway. Um No, turnip soup. We also need bread and onion. And we need flour and egg for the bread. Oh, we can't even do that quest. We ain't going to make turnip soup anytime soon. We will have one onion, but what? You need 12 turnips for one soup? Oh, that is brutal. Yeah, we'll forget about that one. Let's go to the mine. So, well, mayor first. We'll do the mayor. Where are you right now? So you are in your house. Let's do that. We can buy bread. Yeah, we can buy bread. But the only problem is... The money. We're going to spend... 50 in a second for the, the task. That's going to leave us with 65 left. I want to save up for the rod. And bread. I don't know how much that's going to cost us. But we also need one onion. And we've only got one onion plant. We've got to wait for that to grow. And use 12 of our turnips. Which, I don't know, they might sell more than... We might need the money from that. I'm going to see how much one of these turnips sells for. We've got a gold quality, by the way. Which in five days will go down to the silver. So you will lose quality if you... Don't sell or eat in time. Right, this is the mayor. Is he still here? Yeah, he's inside. Oh, and then we actually go up to the mines from there. Nice. Oh, it's locked. Please come out. Come out, come out, come out. Twelve is what you have, do you think? But we've got more than twelve, though. If so, that'd be good. If it is just one, it, hopefully it is. We will see. I might buy one piece of bread, and at least make one turnip soup, or because we're gonna need two bread, because we need two soup. What reward do we get? From doing that. But, oh yeah, we do get the milk and the egg. Which might be quite good. For Matthew. We've only got... We've got four days on it though. We have got four days so we can wait for the onion. We might be alright. We'll try it. Come on, Mayor. Have you not got work to do? You've got to speak to him. He's not leaving. If you only had one, uh, only silver, then it would show the silver amount. So you're just thinking it's showing the 12 bronze. Okay. There he is. He's leaving his door now. Uh, always check to see if they're selling any new seeds. Because they do change every day. Uh, yes, Joe, I will be doing a video on Bandotail. Yes. Oh, well, there we go. We've got to pay taxes. I was turning the quest. <gasps> oh, my God. We've just got a ton of seeds. That is insane. <laughs> Guys, look how much money the mayor's got. 14,208 gold, which might not sound a lot, but in these days, 
That's a lot of money. Oh my god. Nearly 15k? He's balling. We are marrying his daughter. I am marrying his daughter. Let's pay the taxes. Thank you for paying your taxes. That's disgusting. But you know what? What did we get here? Five onion, five potato. We got some more turnips. We got cabbage and peas. Let's go. Yeah, he is balling. He's minted. Okay, let's go to the mines in the forest. We got. Are these going to disappear? Or is it froze? No, there we go. Right, we've never been up here, so let's go. Who are you? This is all. Oh, this is another pretty fishing spot. I like that. Just standing here like that. I like it. Let's have a look down this way. Oh, butterflies! I think we can catch bugs in this game. I've got a feeling. I've seen bees, butterflies. I don't know if I've seen any more. I've not paid attention, but let's let's get this. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. This might be another good fishing spot here. Fishing into the waterfall. Oh, hello. Everyone's hanging out up here. Good day, sir. Oh, an egg. One egg for ten. We've still got 65 gold. It's not too bad. I would like the rod, though, which is... Was it 75 or 85? Why has everyone got worms? Everyone is literally selling worms. Oh my god, more seeds. Potato! Turnips. Cabbage. This is amazing. Right, I think we should spend some money on seeds here. What do you think? Should we get five of each so we've got ten? Fishing is bait. Yeah, I think it would be actually good to get the bait. So we do actually have a lot of seeds though. Uh, we've got to think about watering. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 more seeds to plant. That's a lot. I might just hold off. It's 1700. Everyone had worms. Dab. Got them. Got them. Right, guys, I want to find out turnip. The gold turnip sells for five. Is that it? Well, we're going to sell the good quality. I'll keep the 12 because they are low quality and we can cook with them. These do not give you a lot. But it's better than nothing. How long the cherry's got? Two days? Is it worth selling those? We can't make anything. It's only eight gold, though. Or could it just be good to eat those? I don't know. Shall we try and eat one? Can you just eat a cherry? Oh yeah, they are. They're great. They give you some good stamina. You know what? We'll keep hold of those. Little Martin doing some fishing. But yeah, maybe we can invent a water sprinkler. I don't think they had those kind of things back in the day. So I'm, I don't think sprinklers might be in this game. I don't. I just can't imagine. Oh, we need a lantern to go into the cave. Okay, so that's why the lantern oil can be purchased. That makes sense. So, that is this area. Pretty nice. Good fishing location again. So what do we need to do now? Quest, we've just got to do the turnip soup. So we should try and buy some bread. Uh, more seeds here. What's this? Cherry seed. Okay. Kind of speaking to everyone. Because everyone sells something, which is so good. And it changes every day. Everyone looks so cute. Yeah, right, Tiffany? It's amazing. The art style is so good. You've been lurking for a while, gotta do some studying. No worries, Vic. No worries. Oh, oh, someone else is not happy. What's this here? Ins is this person okay? 
The reward is question. We have no idea what we're going to get. Could be nothing. I don't know. She wants me to insult 20 villagers. People around here are too loud because they're too happy. She is so grumpy. And look at her name. Temper. Temperance. I get it. She's so mean. I kind of want to do it, you know. But I'm joking. No, we can't do that. I'm trying to be friends with everyone. Because we are getting sent, like, gifts in the, the mail. And look at that. Everyone's in green right now. Where's the person that we insulted at the beginning? What was his name? Was it Jacob? Where is he? Why is J Jacob... So I think this game is quite unique. I think it's... We've only spoke to, spoke to Jacob once and we insulted him and he was in the red. But because we are quite friendly towards his family, his son, I think it's kind of like a... It must be like a group thing. So when you speak to a family member, you get friendship points through the whole family, not just that person. Because Jacob's friendship is going up. Even though we're not speaking to him. But I am, I've am. i been speaking to Clark, his son. So I'm wondering if that's like linked. Which is quite unique. I like it. Temperance, you can just do one. That's rude. That I can't insult people. Only Jacob. Oh, we can get outfits. Oh, I'd love a new outfit. But so much money. Bakery, here. Can we buy the bread? Oh, it's closed at 2pm. Who works there? We need to find someone who sells bread. Also, wasn't there someone in this house that we never met? Locked. I don't know who's going to sell bread. I forgot who the baker is. Should we have a look? Who was it? Apothecary. There you are. So it is Martha Lloyd. She might sell bread. Where are you? That's the question. Martha Lloyd. What does she look like again? So she's wearing one of these hats. Like a white bakery hat. But we can't enter the building because it's locked. So I'm wondering if she's actually in the bakery. We just can't get in there. A bear claw. Wow. Used in potions. Try and find her. So you're the butcher. So we can get the meat from here. Can we pin her on the map? It does let you click her. Let's check the beach. We might find something that we can sell. Oh yeah. We got some clams. Who are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Well, I can't speak to her. Oh, there we go. I don't think we've ever spoke to Irene. Irene? What do you sell? Nothing. This is only wood. Yes, I remember that for better for worse. So, who are you? I, I don't, I'm sure we haven't spoke to Irene. Oh my god, there's even more people. They just keep adding on, guys. There was only one person that we needed to meet, and now there's three. What is going on? It's like they're unlocking as we play. Right, Irene. I feel like she might be somebody we can marry. Let's see if she's already married, though. Where have you gone? Irene, where are you? I can't even find her. But why is it 
She's not there. Irene. A baby grow up. Can you guys see Irene? I don't see her on here. She's like she's not unlocked on the list. Just a visitor, do you think? Maybe. Maybe you could be right, yes. Let's pick this up. Alright. Oh, is that the baker? I think it is. Quick, quick, quick. No! No! She went inside the house. I was going to buy the bread. I've just seen her. Oh, no. That's not good. You can't give a gift, so she's just like a visitor. Okay, I see. Interesting. Moonlight water and a fleeting feet. Astra. I guess we'll go speak to her tomorrow. We've still got to wait for our onions to grow anyway before we can make turnip soup. And we've got a few days left on it for that quest. Hello, hello. Someone... She had 27k? Did she actually? What? That's more money than the mayor? Is it because she works on the potions? So obviously when people get sick, you know, like a doctor. Must be minted. Can you marry her? What was her name? Do you guys remember? What was her name? I forgot. Was it Astra? So I don't think so. So she actually is the one that we need to speak to. The House of Spell. Who are these other people though? So we need to. So the mother and father is the Edwards family. So this is the. Um, the daughter or son. We need to speak to this child. And also. Oh yeah. We've also got to speak to that temperance's um, kid. She lives at the local Iron. She is a witch and so am I. Yeah. But I think I'm just going to sleep. We've got quite a bit to do. You gotta try and get into the rooms before they all sleep. Um, in fact, what I want things will start expire like rotting. So we have got more seeds to, uh, to sow. Can we cook anything? No. What about if we store it? Is it still rotting here? So let's see. Four days to rot. I feel like it's still gonna rot when you put it in the chest. I've got a feeling. But this plantain, we'll put this in the chest because we need this for the salad. We just need violet though. I'll also put the fish bait in there for now and the soil and the sand. We can actually craft the preserve thing and that's what I'm guessing it does. There is a thing here that we can craft which is the preserve jar. I think this might stop fruit and vegetables etc from rotting which is good so that way you can have loads of let's say turnips for food and not worry about them rotting after a couple of days because that would be a waste and I think that's going to be good it's going to help keep things from rotting so we do need that that'll be really nice to get let's get these other seeds in the ground um I'll do another little veg patch here we need to we need better tools to get rid of these big things It's kind of like don't starve. Yeah, I agree. They called it corning. 
So like the old, like the word for preserving. I get it, I get it. So let's, we've got some peas here, which is nice. We've got um, more onions, more potato. And we did have cabbage, which is good too. Kind of get all of these in the ground here. What we'll do is I'll probably do a road down because we've got five of each. Problem is, it's going to be a lot of watering. It's going to be a lot of watering. Now, there's the cabbage. We'll do onion. And we'll do our potato. So when you have a family, you can actually have your kids and your wife do your jobs for you as well. So you all work together, so you're not doing it on your own. So it's quite important to have a family. Yeah, the sky looks gorgeous. Right, there's the peas in the ground as well. Just got to give this a water. We do have one spot there that I might just randomly put, like a turnip in. Uh, why not? Yeah, tools. So the watering can doesn't degrade, it just needs refilling. But the rest of them, yeah, the hoe, we're going to have to repair that soon. Which does cost a bit of money. And we can't craft tools yet, so. We've got to be careful. Going to be listening while cooking tea. I love that, Skittles. What are you making? What's for tea? Once I finish stream, the reason I've got to finish a bit earlier today is because I am also cooking uh, tea. And on a Sunday here in England, we do what is called a Sunday roast. So it's like you get some kind of meat of your choice, you know, turkey, beef, whatever. Uh, you have it with roast vegetables, mashed potato and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be making one of those for the family. I always cook them on every Sunday. It's my job. Got four. We've got some more seeds that I need to plant, really. We might not be able to water all these, but let's just get them in the ground. I want to know, do we get rain? I want... Well, we do. I think we do get weather. We need rain. That's going to be so much better. I don't want to water. We've not had any weather, though, yet. I've not seen it. And I kind of want to. Uh, three. Any games you're looking forward to? Uh, this one. This is just a demo, but I can't wait for the full release. And also, Little Known Galaxy. Really loved that game. I played the demo of that as well. Uh, it was the last video I uploaded. It's like Stardew Valley, but in space. It's such a good game. Can't wait for that to release. Um, you know, the demo is just not it. I want the full thing. So I'd say uh, that game I'm most looking forward to, and this one as well. This is a cool game. Right, so... That is all. We need to sleep. It's nearly 10pm. We've got all those in the ground and watered. Food, we've got some things here. Right, we might have to go and sell some stuff. We'll wake up at 6 a.m., which is eight hours. That should be good rest right there. Oh, and there we go. That is the demo. Oh, guys, it's about two hours. You only get two hours long. That's so sad. I want to keep playing. I wanted to see the weather. I wanted to do more. I wanted to go to the mines. Oh, but you know what? That was fun, though. That was fun. That is a game that I'll definitely be playing when it releases. Uh, what do you guys think to that one? Oh, Jennifer and Kev's just joined, and we've just finished. The, the, we've just played a demo of Echoes of the Plum Grove, and we've just finished it. We've just completed the demo. 
Karen, is the monsters in the game? I have no idea. We never went to the mines. We needed we needed a lantern, which we didn't have. You like it? Yeah, that is the demo done. Two hours, we finished it. So we have to wait for the game to release, which I believe is it is coming this year. It is coming this year. I will just double check for you guys now because there might be official date. Um, no, no official date. It just says 2024. So you guys can play the demo. You get two hours. That was literally dead on. We started at 3 p.m. It's 5 p.m. for me. And there we have it. Can't wait. For, yeah, I'm going to probably do a video or maybe a series or more streams of this game when it releases. But for the people who just joined and you missed out on the game, it'll be going up as a VOD so you can skip through it and watch it at your own time. Check out the game for yourself. Let me know your thoughts down below. But yeah, we'll end the stream there. And we'll be, we'll be back again next week, maybe with a different game or back on our Stardew Valley hard mode save. Sorry you didn't get the notification. No worries, Kev. I should have probably posted it. Um, I normally tweet out or, or something, but I completely forgot. But guys, thank you all for tuning into the stream today. Please smash the like button. I really appreciate you all being here. And uh, I'll see you on the next one next week. It'll be Saturday or Sunday. Uh, yeah, I think it might be Bandle Tales, Cindy Lee, because it will be releasing by then. So I think that might be the next stream. Playing a new farm game. I might even do a double stream next week. We'll see. Take it easy, guys. Make sure you stay safe and stay cozy.